Really blessed, they're really blessed. No? Yeah. I soon, 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 soon. Baka ituro ni RD. <laughs> Ibang web pinag yun. <laughs> Ayan! Okay, Rich! So with that, with that, we would like online that. friends, mga taga-Pasay, na nais magpalago ng kanilang mga negosyo. Ladies and gentlemen, our speaker for this afternoon's webinar, Mr. R.D. Roberto. Mga kamans, maraming maraming salamat mga magagandang lalaki at babae dyan. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Wish you miss me. Salamat po. Wish talaga mga... Ngayon lang ako na-introduce na ginoo talaga. <laughs> so I want to thank the uh, Pasa, um, yes, Pasay Mayor, Mayor Emmy. Maraming maraming salamat. For inviting, uh, for inviting me and Miriam. Right now, Miriam is at the studio. She uh, has a taping, but she'll be joining me in, in a couple of minutes. So, uh, chill lang kayo dyan. Mga gusto na makita si Miriam. Ako muna papanoorin nyo. Alam ko, uh, mas maganda si Miriam sa akin. Uh, ako yung session. <laughs> Pero, you have me for now. So, thank you again, uh, Pasay, Pasay City, si Ma'am Weng. Andrea, Tere, of course, Rich, for putting this together. Our hosts, uh, maraming maraming salamat. Okay. So, I'm very excited. Hindi naman ako ang star talaga dito eh. Kayo ang star. Lahat ng mga nanonood dito, lahat ng mga nagchatsaga, lahat ng nagbigay ng kanilang panahon para mahapunta dito. Okay. So, we're going to start. And I want to start by, by asking a question. How many of you want some cash? Mamimigay po ako ng cash ngayon. Sino pong gusto ng cash? Taas po ang kamay. Ayun. Ang bilis mag... Okay. Mamimigay po tayo ng cash. Mamimigay po tayo ng knowledge. <laughs> We're gonna teach about attitude. We're gonna give you some skills today. And we're gonna talk about some habits para maging happy entrepreneur. Kala nyo ang makakaroon kayo ng cash. Although, balita ko, mabibigyan din kayo ng cash ng uh, City of Pasay as an assistance for the online sellers. Malita ko yun. Hindi ko alam kung totoo yun. O kung chismis yun. Pero malita ko. Kaya, pero kailangan nandito kayo until the entire webinar. Okay ba yun? Tama ba yun, Rich? So this is what we teach. I'm part of the Go Negosyo uh, Mentor Me, uh, DTI uh, Mentor Me KMME program. And this is what I do and this is also one of my passions. Okay? I am a passionate entrepreneur. In fact, I, I love teaching many people all over the country and the world how to be a happy entrepreneur in and out of pandemics. It's really based on the book. Itong pinakita ni Rich kanina, itong The Happy Entrepreneur. By the way, you know what? If you want to earn, you've got to learn. And if you want to learn, read a lot of books because readers are leaders. So you can get this book on Shopee, on Lazada, on the ABS-CBN books website. Okay, naging number two po yan. And uh, all the stories here were inspired from my going around the country, teaching with the likes, uh, and going around the country with, with the founders of Go Negosyo, Joy Concepcion, Ramon Lopez, of course, at marami pang ibang mga entrepreneur. So how many of you may ask you, can you raise your hand virtually or on the screen? How many of you think that you have the skills Abilities to be an entrepreneur. Can you raise your hand? Sino ba dito mga negosyante, mga entrepreneur? Yes? Iba nag-iisip pa? You know what? Baka because of the pandemic, hindi nyo pinili, pero napilit lang kayo na maging entrepreneur. Hindi ba? You know what? I believe that everybody has the ability because God said so in the Bible. He said, my power and the strength of my hands. It says, you may say to yourself, my power and the strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. But remember, the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce well. Siya po, ang Panginoong Diyos ang nagbibigay sa atin ng abilidad to produce well. And I believe that He has blessed all of you to produce that well, especially during this time of crisis and pandemic. Diba? I remember a long time ago, one of my friends, Professor Jay Bernardo, when he presented in Go Negosyo, he said, you know, the difference between many Filipinos and the Filipino Chinese businessmen is how they perceive crisis. In fact, if you look at the word crisis in Chinese, about Weiji, right? 
biglang dapat pinsik ako. If you look at the two characters, it means two things. If you look at it here, way means danger and G means opportunity. Nakita po nito ng former late president, si John F. Kennedy of the U.S. He says the Chinese use two brush strokes to write the word crisis. One brush stroke stands for danger and the other for opportunity. Ang galing ano? And sabi niya, in a crisis, be aware of the danger, yes, but recognize the opportunity. Ang ganda, recognize the opportunity. Of course, there's danger right now. There's COVID. Uh, even with the uh, vaccine coming out, we are looking at even 2021 until the end na magkakaroon tayo ng mga uh, lockdown, that GCQ, that uh, we cannot still go out and go to school, etc., etc. No? And sayang because we were a rising economic star. Right? Pero if we only look and, and focus our eyes on, on the danger, the poor, kanyari mga nagsasarang negosyo, Sabi ng DTI, 26% of Philippine businesses have been closing. Kasama na po ako dun. You know, I, uh, I was introduced as, as an entrepreneur. I have, my wife and I have about 15 or 16 different businesses. Ito po yung mga logos of businesses that we have either invested in as a franchisee or started ourselves as a master franchisee or started like Inspire and Salt and Light. Marami din ako na start ng business. Marami po sa kanila ang nagsara during this pandemic. In fact, I opened two, two stores, two franchises, one week or one month before the pandemic. Wala pang isang buwan, wala pang ilang linggo, sarado na because of the coronavirus. All right? But you know what? Just have a change of perspective and consider it, this is my favorite life verse in the Bible from sa Book of James, chapter 1, verses 2 to 3, it says, Consider it pure joy. Wow. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, dapat daw tayo maggalak. If we are facing mga pagsusubok, mga trials in life. Why? Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Wow. That's wonderful, di ba? We are reaping so many benefits. We are reaping the benefit of our character, being tested, our faith being tested during this pandemic. Diba? It's just a matter of different perspective. And I submit to you, ako, COVID-19 has given me more than 19 opportunities to grow in character and contentment. Binibilang ko yan eh, diba? Patience, contentment, humility, kindness, love, generosity, faith. Ang dami. Have you looked at it in, have you looked at COVID at, in this way? So we need to vaccinate not only our bodies, we need to vaccinate our minds and think about life, not death. Think life and opportunities, right? The happy entrepreneur success mindset says this, you know, look at what you have, your treasure, your time, yung iyong talento o talino, at mga taong kakilala nyo. Hindi to, nga, pero mga taong kakilala niyo, yung mga network. Tapos, tignan mo, look at the community's needs wants or problems and match it with what you have. Wow. And you will have a happy business. You'll be a happy entrepreneur. In other words, don't just start a business, solve a problem. My, ibang mindset yan, di ba? Yung mindset dapat natin hindi, oh, ano pwede pakikitaan dyan? Okay lang yun. Pero our mindset should be, Ano bang pwede kong isolve ng mga problema, lalo na ngayon, sa pandemia? And you will find opportunities. In fact, in the book, Happy Entrepreneur, again, in one of these chapters, I talk about the PISO startup model. Okay? This is an original of mine. <laughs> and if you want to look for opportunities or businesses, ito lang hanapin po natin. Look for problems. Okay? And irritants. Ano pa yung nakakairita sa mga uh, so community natin ngayon? Ano yung mga pinaproblema ng mga tao ngayon? And then you can solve them as opportunities or new businesses. Di ba? Ang ganda, di ba? Piso. You solve problems and irritants as opportunities at magkakaroon kayo ng maraming pisoses. <laughs> Amen? Galing, di ba? I love it. So it's just a different mindset, you know. 
And in the next um, in the next 20 minutes, before I call in my other guest speakers, I'm going to present to you some case studies using this model. Okay, for example, problems. You know what a problem now is? Uh, of course, the pandemic has caused many problems. Businesses to close, but many people are are inside their houses, especially children, and they are bored. There is a lot of boredom. At the same time, there's another problem. It is while we are cooped up in our houses, how do we continue learning? Okay. So how is this problem being addressed today? As a business, I submit to you. Nako, do you know that according to studies, YouTube online videos have skyrocketed in terms of usage. And more than, I think that number is 250%. Okay. So that means there is a need for content to that problem of boredom and education. So the solution is pwede po tayo magkaroon ng isang negosyo that provides online content through YouTube or other online models but YouTube is a place, a platform where you can monetize and you can provide entertainment and education. If you go to all the YouTube uh, how-tos if you want to make money on YouTube, you provide these two things, entertainment and or education. At kikita po kayo. Okay. When I went to Sikihor uh, two years ago for Go Negosyo, I found out about this group of high schoolers. Nagumpisa na sila. It's the Sikihor Viners. They started their own YouTube channel. Mga high school students lang to. <laughs> Actually, puro palakohan lang. They're, ayan, they're answering the need for entertainment. Okay? But look at their um, numbers. Okay? In terms of subscribers, these high school students have 234,000 subscribers. 93 million views so far. Dun na, sa mga ginawa nilang 156 videos. Their estimated uh, monthly earnings, estimate to, is 1000 to $16,000 a month. That's anywhere from 5000 to half a million or 750,000 pesos a month. Mga high school students lang po ito. I have a very good friend, Chinkitan. Okay? He just reached the 1 million subscriber mark. Okay? His YouTube business is growing by leaps and bounds. And you might think, I can have a celebrity. Hindi. In fact, what you can offer, ito naman in, the, in terms of education, like Chinky is teaching people how to manage money. There are people na hindi naman mga celebrity, wala naman siyang platform, who have become successful YouTubers just by teaching like so, how to speak English, for example. Four tips para gumaling mag-English. Uh, si Team Laika. Ayan. How many subscribers that she has? Ayun po, 1.1 million subscribers just by teaching English. Right? So the potential for her is uh, earnings of 100,000 to, let's say, half a million a month. So that's why I said, meron ba kayong isang talino o talento that you can provide as online entertainment or education? Ito, nakita. Nasa gobyerno kayo. You can even teach people how to deal with the government, how to get business permits. Ito, how to get NBI clearance. Di ba? May 120,000 views na siya. Si Paolo speaks. Okay? So yun. Once you reach 1,000 subscribers, you can be monetized na. So, Guess what I did? I started uh, a month ago my own channel called RD Roberto TV. Uh, parang awa nyo na, mag-subscribe na kayo. <laughs> Why? Because you can learn a lot also. So what my talks, my seminars are here on RD Roberto TV. So subscribe na kayo. Okay? Para naman meron akong pandate sa asawa ko. Yeah. Okay. So other things that I have done online na dating ginagawa ko offline are you can also provide Seminars like this online, like meron akong project author that I have partnered with my friends, Sean C. And kung dati, you know, offer ko siya sa mga hotels, ngayon, of course, online na siya. And it's much easier to do it. Okay? Because of the technology that we have right now. Okay? So take advantage. Every, while everybody is home-based, looking for uh, education and looking for entertainment. Okay? And by the way, if you want to get any of my books, nandiyan po sa rdroberto.com. Right? 
So another case study. Let's look at the problem of stress parents. Why? Because of online learning. How many of you are parents na meron mga, meron kayong mga chikiti, you have kids that are home-based, nakaka-stress, di ba? Not only for the parents, but also the students. You know, many people are asking, will distance learning work? Hindi nga sigurado. Parents and teachers, di ba? As classes open, there is what they call a learning crisis. So there is a problem, and where, and where there is a problem, there is an opportunity. And I thank God for being in the education space because we had a solution to that. Many, uh, two years, a year before the pandemic, we actually opened a homeschool uh, business. Okay? Homeschool meaning we provide education and support. Right? But there are opportunities, I'm telling you. Look at what you have. Bista nyo, ano ba meron ako na pwede kong i-provide? Pwede ba ako mag tutor? Can I provide online reading programs? Like, meron ako, uh, may, yung anak ko si Joshua. I pay uh, a tutor 2,000 pesos, 2,000 nga ba? 4,000 pesos a month. Just reading program lang siya for Tagalog. Okay? O, oh, meron din ako kakilala. Uh, meron ako kakahire ko lang, isang coach sa volleyball. Nag-one-on-one -on -one tutor siya. Para sa PE naman ng mga anak, ng anak ko. Okay? So, ito yung homeschool. Meron kami 1,000% increase in inquiries since the pandemic started. See? There are opportunities and problems. Okay? Another case study. Meron po tayong fear of going out. Di ba? Since March, since April, people have been afraid of going out. Lata ng mga seniors. That is a problem which can be turned into an opportunity. Let's see how people have turned that into an opportunity by providing a solution. What is that? Meron po mga nag-offer na personal shopper. Right? You, I think many of you can offer yourselves to be personal shopper, a personal shopper, right? And meron din mga, of course, I think many of you have begun selling food online. How many of you are selling food online? Okay, can you chat in the chat? box, ano bang binibenta nyo, ano bang negosyo nyo, can, I want to know, please put it in the chat box, alright? Online food seller or delivery, yeah, personal shopper services na uso ngayon na may pandemya, right? In fact, I have a friend who's earning uh, 1,500 a day, okay? It's actually, uh, isang tao ng kaibigan ko na nawalan ng trabaho, he does personal shopping for households. Okay, bawat isang job or a job order to buy something, he charges 150 to 300 pesos. At isa pa in my research that I have learned that is now a business as well is walk your dog. Meron po mga ngayon negosyo. Meron ngayon app na, <laughs> na you can walk. Pwede ka mag-book ngayon ng dog walker. Okay? And there are people who are earning up to 50,000 pesos a month just walking dogs for people who don't want to go out to walk their dogs. So I'm asking you, is there opportunity in this crisis? I submit to you, yes. Okay. Kami nga po, eh, I mentioned earlier, one of our franchises, uh, Mr. Mu, yung nagbebenta po kami ng fresh milk and queso puti, it closed due to COVID. It just recently reopened again here in Alabang. But in the meantime, we also went on and went online to offer on Viber, on different online platforms, uh, fresh milk and queson puti, yogurt, even smoothies here in our village using Viber. You, know? you can use Viber, you can use WhatsApp, you can use Facebook groups. Okay? But for many of you who are here, on, I'll, share you, I'll share something important to you. Okay? Because it's not just a matter of selling online. You need to have what you call marketing success. Ano ba yung marketing success? I submit to you, hindi lang benta ng benta. You need repeat customers. Okay? Yung tipong, bakit sila magre-repeat? Kasi masaya sila sa produkto mo and your service. Repeat customers means repeat sales. And that is a marketing success. So you need to have that marketing mindset to get repeat sales. Yung tipong, gusto ko magkaroon ng maraming suki. So gagamitin ko yung service excellence ko. Kami, like kami eh, when I serve in the village, my smoothies, ako mismo gumagawa nun, 
I give more than what is expected. Hindi po ang pagtanggap ng customer mo, wow, ang papagod siya ng wow. Hindi to in-expect ko, it's more than what I expected. Because you will lose customers once you deliver something to them. Ang ganda-ganda sa picture. Pero pagdating sa action, eh, ano to? Diba? Mawawala ka ng customer. Isang beses lang yung bibili. Right? So you need to have that service excellence. And para matandaan nyo, tandaan nyo na itong upod. What does upod mean? It is really this. You just under-promise and over-deliver. Under-promise, under-promise, over-deliver. Whatever it is that you're selling, whatever product or service it is that you are selling, kailangan po tayo mag-under-promise and over-deliver. Under-over lang po. Sabi nga ni Tom, Peters, the management guru, the formula for success is under promise and under and over deliver. Yeah. So many of the friends that I know and I have uh, in this pandemic, like the owner Kenji Tay, okay, uh, online na rin sila, selling, selling our products as well, selling fruits and vegetables, pati ngayon anak ko na si Joshua. Even before the pandemic, nagbebenta na siya ng fruits sa, mga, sa village using the Viber uh, platform. Online po. Okay? So my wife, Miriam, gets the order and then si Joshua ang nagpapak. We teach him how to do it. Okay? Siya na rin po nagde-deliver. Naglalakad na siya around the village. Minsan pag malayo, ako na rin naghahatid. And then at the end of the day, yon, My profit and loss statement. So kahit bata, you can show them the opportunities. Alam mo, in one afternoon, yung anak ko kumita ng 800 plus pesos in one afternoon sa pagbibenta ng fruits, eh, sa pagbibenta ng frutas. Okay. Sideline lang yun. Okay. Uh, there are other success stories like uh, the founders of Nessie Prey, si LSL. Naging very famous sila because of their IG, Instagram, and Facebook stores. Okay? Lesu Crazy, si Chef Marvin. Ito, ang ganda ng pictures nila, di ba? So, their presentation is very key na how you present it online dito sa Facebook. This is their chocolate dream cake. And dito sa Instagram. Okay? So, they would send free samples to celebrities, influencers on Instagram and Napakasarap naman talaga ng cake nila, ng, ng chocolate dream cake. Kaya patok na patok siya. It started, you know how much they were selling first? One cake is about 550 pesos. Again, it's 500 pesos. They would sell as much as 100,000 pesos worth of chocolate dream cake. In fact, sinabi sa akin, nag-spike yan noong... Uh, before Christmas, Christmas and Valentine's, 1.5 million worth of cakes a day. Nag-start yan sa maliit na kitchen. Now, they have a factory in Batangas. And how do they do it? They sell, of course, delivery nila. Lalamu, they do it online. Everything. So, you know what? I also invited, uh, since marami sa inyo na nasa food, I invited a friend of mine, si Anton Diaz. And I want to check, Rich, can you, do you see Anton in the house right now? If he is, tatawagin na natin siya. I just need your help to spot him and spotlight him. You know, kailangan mo si Anton Diaz. He is the foremost food blogger in the Philippines who talks about trends in online trends, Okay, what is hot, what is not. And he actually offers this digital storytelling workshop. So we're very blessed na nandito siya ngayon. So Rich, are you there? Anton, are you there? Hmm. Of course, hello, good afternoon. Yes. Ikaw na ba yan, Anton? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a mask. Sorry. Okay lang. Okay lang. Okay. Sige. Okay. Someone share the... I'm, of course, you're going to need to share your screen, right? Uh, right now? Oh, sige. Well, 
let me introduce my friend properly. Actually, kaibigan na din namin ni Rich to. We have a monthly mastermind uh, group that meets every month. You need mentors to succeed in your in your business and Anton is one of them. And he is one of the foremost mentors on anything online, marketing online, uh, life online, and marami siya mga racket online. <laughs> but he is well known, best known of course for his awesome planet, which is now awesome. And so Anton, help me and take it away. Let's inspire them. Yes, um, I guess uh, what I wanted to do is uh, talk to you about the our learnings no, in the food industry. So my name is Anton Diaz, founder of Our Awesome Planet. So we cover the food and travel industry. Bray mo, yun yung dalawang industry na tinamaan nitong pandemic. No? But um, what happened actually during the pandemic is that there's actually a lot of innovations that happen that happen no because a lot of people uh really pivot uh from their business meron yung mga weddings mga wedding videographers gumagawa na ng lechon belly di ba <laughs> kasi food is one of those things na very easy to to get into but also it's very competitive no and maybe I'll share with you some insights um on <clears throat> What are the things that uh, that are working? Uh, what's trending? Uh, and then maybe uh, thinking about uh, 2021. Kasi we're on the our last year, di ba? Of, um, of the year and one month. Now, ang, ang, the, the thing though with uh, December this year, uh, and we already talked to a lot of the food entrepreneurs, no? Uh, what's happening is alis wala ng money yung mga tao during December. Most of the money has been made during 11-11. Uh, kasi nga, the 13 month pay, what what happened in the at least in the industry, the 13 month pay na bigay na in the middle of the year, the remittances from uh, the OFW hindi, hindi lumabas kasi they're experiencing pandemic also, di ba? And then the dollar to peso exchange rate na apekto din. So the whole December is kind of almost done in 2020. And what we're really thinking about is how do you start 2021? Because that's where the opportunity is. What really happened with the pandemic is it accelerated technology. Okay, This is actually, this year was the start of the next tech boom. Think about it. This year is the start of the next tech boom. Um, and uh, we actually have, uh, during the pandemic, we teach global investing, no? And talaga na-accelerate lahat ng mga technologies towards this day. And the forecast is e-commerce will be quadrupled starting next year. You know, uh, if you guys are into travel naman, there'll be a revenge travel next year, no? In 2021, uh, moving forward. Lalo na, na ngayon na... Uh, Nakita niyo yung mga lumalabas na vaccine news, no? 95% effective. No, from uh, Moderna, from Pfizer, 95% uh, effective. So the question na lang is uh, kung aabot ba sa atin yun next year, di ba? Kasi the question was uh, distribution of vaccines, etc. But so, there will really be a big opportunity for 2021. And I'll probably just uh, share with you what were the learnings this year, okay, and then that you could leverage uh, once you go to uh, to next year, especially for food. Uh, what we learned, uh, the people who are into ang importante sa food kasi is top of mind. Okay, you have to remember top of mind uh, branding. You need to be present in the social media, and uh, for food. What happened is Instagram, no? Uh, can I share the Instagram page? Pwede naman ako mag-share, no? So I'll share with you uh, my, our Instagram page. And we feature in our Instagram page the, the, the food. We taste test a lot, no? A lot of people send us food. And then what we feature in our page are the best ones, actually. Uh, that we like. So I'll share share that and maybe just walk you through some of the things that are uh, really uh, interesting um, 
that uh, a lot of people, you know. Uh, so, for one, for example, yung coffee trend. Nakita nyo na yung coffee trend, di ba? In lahat, a lot of people were doing coffee uh, in a bottle. Maybe nakamix na. Kasi nga, hindi ka maklabas sa Starbucks. And then, but actually, what people find out, mas masarap yung mga coffee nga na brew natin, especially if you brew the beans locally. So, nagkaroon ng search on coffee, no? Mga drinks uh, in particular. And uh, if you're thinking about going into drinks, um, you have to think, what's your proposition for the type of drinks, no? Hindi lang coffee and tea. So, the whole uh, segment really, um, ano, uh, nag blue nag uh, explode no uh, during the pandemic there are two there are two strategies when you think about food okay one is what you call value meaning uh, you want to get best value ba to people you know the best value parang you're the product na mura pero masarap okay in uh, in the research of google you know what's the most top search keyword the most top search keyword is best affordable. Okay? Best affordable. So you could actually, if you want to compete in food, you need to be the best affordable what? You know, bibinka or uh, cake or what type of cake. No? So best affordable is the keyword during this pandemic. And I think it will move on until 2021. That's one segment. The other segment you have to think about is the keyword is indulgent. Okay? Kasi a lot of people are at home most of the time, even na uh, magkaroon na vaccine siguro, uh, etc. People will still be very careful. Especially in the Philippines, may mga taong ay magpa-vaccine eh. So you really have to, you know, boost your immune system, etc. So when you say indulgent, these are things that, uh, yung pampaalis na stress mo, or more healthy food, more parang rewarding type of food, no? So, you have to figure out whether saan ka magpipay. Kasi it's kind of hard to uh, just play best affordable or uh, indulgent. But those are the two segments that really bloomed no? um, during uh, this quarantine uh, season. So, I'll go through some of the... Uh, of course, ALAC. Um, the, the, the alcoholic drinks was that whole industry is booming because of the delivery service, no? Um, cakes is one of the best search, common search, no? Why why cakes? Now, uh, especially if you have uh, your own recipe or, you know, how do you compete in this space? Because Filipinos love celebrations, eh? Whether at home new celebrations or milestones, etc. they need cakes. And then, nangyari nga ng pandemic, Hindi lang isang cake. Kailangan maraming cake. I don't know kung napansin yun. Usually, padamihan ng cake in a, <laughs> in a birthday celebration. Kasi nga, it's one way for us to celebrate uh, birthdays. No? Local chocolates also became very popular uh, during this time. Uh, the theme kasi during this quarantine is mahirap yung mga imported. Eh. So, maraming mga local... Um, na-discover natin, oh, marami pala mga local cacao. Masarap pala. Masarap pala yung mga local products natin. Masarap pala yung coffee natin. Masarap pala yung cacao natin. And so, that actually initiated the whole uh, uh, industry talaga. No? And our local uh, products really uh, blossomed during this time. Uh, of course, ang mahirap lang, if you're thinking about going to baked goods, so competitive. The baked goods are so competitive. Cookies, and dami sobra ng cookies. So if you really want to make a mark in the cookie segment, hindi lang dapat masarap yung food mo. No? Uh, packaging plays a big role. Branding uh, plays a big role um, in this space. Um, marami rin nag-bake. Dati, 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 let's say, wala ka mahanap na homemade cinnamon rolls. No? Usually, it's all commercial now. And dami nagbibenta ng mga homemade cinnamon rolls. Um, and uh, syempre, kailangan masarap yung mga puto. Yung puto, the usual puto, dati, 
ano lang yan, mga street food. Ngayon, elevated na. Maraming mga flavors. Nakita mo, padamihan ng flavors. No? May ube, may leche flan, etc. Pati yung cheese roll na kita, pinakita. Ito, cheese, ito, cheese roll lang ito. Ah. Cheese roll, may floss na, may uh, ube. Lahat-lahat. No? So that's the competition you're, uh, you're getting into, no? especially going into uh, 2021. He specialized on something like this one cheese roll pero ang dami siyang um, so kumbaga ang ginawa nila dito the cheese roll itself the plain is sobrang sarap mura yung plain pero for those looking for indulgent uh, experiences lagyan nila ng ube nilagyan ng pork floss itong nasa taas uh, then nilagyan mo rin ng uh, ano ng uh, let's say pili nut no kasi locally available um The other things na uh, nangyari, for example, siyempre celebrations, no? Um, is a big thing. And um, if you notice, one of the hottest thing is party trays um, during this time. And I think even 2021, no? Um, hindi lang for potluck, but really for celebrations, uh, celebration at home. Pati na nga yung one of the most craved international food Uh, during the pandemic was uh, Japanese food, no? You know, nakaka-order ka na ng sushi, sashimi, online, no? Uh, meron to si Salmon HQ. If you go uh, to their page, meron na ngang, uh, they specialize on salmon. You know, you can have a salmon cake. Yan, yeah, no? You can, uh, kasi kung ayaw mo nang kung nakakataba yung ano, kung nakakataba yung cake, why not a salmon cake? A healthy cake, di ba? Um, so I'll just show you highlights lang, quick lang, kasi I know I don't have a lot of time also. So ito, mga recipe from uh, from from Pampanga. Tingnan nyo yung design. Uh, what happened also during the pandemic, hindi ka pwedeng simple design lang, especially if you're selling something indulgent. Uh, nakita mo yung design nito. Ganyan yung design ng box niya. Ano? Somebody did an artwork on that artist. Before the pandemic, you won't be able to see uh, home-based entrepreneurs doing this. This typically only the restaurants would uh, do do this type of packaging. No, um, siempre bas cheesecake was very popular. No, it was one of the best. Uh, this is one of the best we've tried. No, uh, from Chef Chele, who also actually came from uh, from Spain. Talaga, sobrang sarap. Yung bas cheesecake na yan, burn yung taas, pero yung loob parang gooey, na parang cheesy talaga, no? Uh, best eaten. Kung binig siya ngayon, room temperature, kainin mo, sobrang sarap yan. Uh, of course, carrot cake also. And then yung seafood uh, has become very popular. Uh, sardo was the name of the game for breads. And then local, yung mga local Spanish breads also, some of the French bread. These are breads from Dr. Bread Manila. They specialize, mga French sila, they specialize on French bread lang. You can order authentic French bread now here in Manila, no? From uh, uh, Dr. Uh, bread Manila. Um, Siyempre, of course, hamon. Uh, and then, uh, regional cuisines are very popular. So, uh, this guy, sila, Kerika, they specialize on Bicolano cuisine. No? Yung sinantulan, naging sikat na, laing, sikat sikat na sikat na pili nuts. Uh, so if you have access to regional delicacies, patok yun. A lot of, there's a lot of ice creams na naging popular in this. Uh, ito, si Daisy, okay. Dati kasi, order ka lang anong flavor. Sila, make your own ice cream. You can combine different products to make your ice cream. Yun yung special thing nila. Ito, kami gumawa nung ano, sila nag-mix and then uh, they sent us to us in tubs. Steaks are also very popular. Some are marinated na, nanululuto na lang. Um, pati salads, you know, a lot of the drinks. Um, so, this is, uh, if you go to the Instagram page, this is pretty much uh, like a summary of the best food uh, during the pandemic, no? Uh, even mga caviar cake, I uh, just wanted to show you lang, like for example, to caviar cake. No? They did not stop with just the caviar cake. Yung cover ng caviar cake, may awesome. You could actually personalize 
the packaging. You can put your name, happy birthday, Anton, etc. So, ganun yung naging labanan uh, during this time. No? Kasi nga, uh, ito, one of the pinakamasarap na cake na na-try namin. Na-deliver siya na buo, ube yung baba, halaya yung gitna, and then leche plan yung taas. So, sobrang sarap nito. Um, and uh, the best part is, dumating siya, we live in Laguna, Boom, buo. Kasi there are some cakes na get, gets destroyed uh, during the delivery process. Eh. Um, and then, uh, of course, uh, Indian food, uh, etc. Ito yung parang feast, no? If you have access to a feast, um, ito, lechon belly, pinaka-main niya, pero you can do Filipino food. Filipino food is actually sikat na sikat, especially the celebratory type, no? mga lechon. Uh, we get a lot of inquiries. We want to order lechon for birthday, pero we cannot order a whole lechon kasi apat lang kami. So that's why yung mga lechon belly na one-fourth, nagiging sikat. No? Like ito, oh, ganyan yung packaging niya. Wow. Ito, belly lang to, malaking belly. Sobrang laking belly. Kasi nga, you cannot order naman a whole lechon for like, a family of four to six, di ba? So, lechon belly became a thing during this, uh, this season. Ganyan kalaki yung belly, oh. Sobrang sarap talaga. Tapos crispy yung labas. There's also a technology kasi na how can you deliver it na crispy pa rin yung, uh, yung balat, no? Kasi the oil gets absorbed by the balat, eh. So, you have to make sure the oil is absorbed outside of the balat when you deliver it. Um... Um, ito, healthy hot dogs, of course, may mga healthy hot dogs na ito, these are cookies na the best cookie is syempre freshly baked. So, minsan nag-send sila dough pa lang that you can bake at home, no? Kasi a lot of people are able to bake at home na. Um, then, syempre, nausin yung mga cake in a can. Ito, sobra naman dami na rin, mga cake in a can. It's hard to compete in this space kasi nga, sobrang dumami because it's very easy to deliver a canned cake, no? Um, yun, ito, cheese di leche flan, no? Variations of uh, your usual chili uh, became also very popular. Uh, a lot of chili became popular, bottled goods, <clears throat> ice cream, bread, ano pa ba hindi ka nasabi? Uh, Siyempre, sushi bake. Uh, of course, I would caution against doing more trendy lang, no? Kasi nga, people... You know, trendy could be during a period of time. Nag-order pa ba kayo ng sushi cake ngayon, for example? Just to ask you directly. Nag-order pa ba kayo? Baka maybe during the lockdown lang, di ba? So, you want to build your business not based on faddish trends, but ano ba tinang hinahanap ng mga tao? Um, so, ang daming breads, ang daming feast. Ito, <clears throat> for those of you who have access to uh, regional recipes, yung culinary, pampanga, lahat ng mga Pampangan restaurant, home base. They join forces together. They form culinary Pampanga. Nagsisell sila ng different assortment. No? Kasi most, a lot of people like different assortment. Ito different, uh, different desserts. Um, and then mga cakes. Um, yeah, no? Uh, Siyempre, sushi bake is one of our uh, favorite friends. And then we have list in, in the site. So, ito, if you go, can go to this site, maybe we'll do a, <clears throat> a better link for this. These are the best packaging we saw during the pandemic. No? Uh, if you're thinking of packaging inspiration, yeah, no, nakapack na siya na foil, nakapack pa siya na box. Um, ito yung lasagna, the best packaging of lasagna. Pagdating sa amin sa Laguna, buong buo pa, hindi baksak, ito yung nama, chocolates. Instead, dried flowers are a thing now. Uh, if you go to Dangwa, maraming yung mga naka-dried flowers in terms of packaging design. It's so, designed for the lechon belly. Uh, itong smoke station, what they do, in-smoke nila yung meat, and then binavacuum pack nila. Pagdating sa'yo, hindi mo na kailangan, yeah, ano, nilalagay mo na lang yung plastic bags sa, ano, sa hot water. And then parang you've eaten a freshly smoked meat, no? So, ganun na yung mga innovation nangyari. Packaging for tiramisu, packaging using, you know, organic products, etc. Ito, para mga transparent, acrylic uh, has been, uh, become very popular. Yun. And, uh, I think, 
uh, one of the things na there's a, a lot here. Uh, we pretty much covered almost all the trends, the hottest thing, and more especially yung mga masasarap for us in our um, in our feed. What I just wanted to uh, share with you is that the food industry, especially the home base, are really booming. Kasi nga, um, ang sarap eh. Ang sarap, uh, people discovered na ang, sap, ang sarap pala ng food ng mga home-based entrepreneurs. Kasi some of you might specialize on one or two products lang. And then, talaga masarap, no? You make sure na masarap yung mga products na yun. And you'll build a following out, uh, out of that. Of course, the best place to market food is via Instagram. Okay? And uh, and then next, if you have time to do uh, uh, YouTube or TikTok, no? Uh, TikTok, uh, the food is actually starting to get popularized also in the platform. So, those are, but Instagram uh, is a good start, no? You need to have an Instagram kasi people look for um, food talaga. Doon na sila nagsya-shopping eh, kung anong mga bibit. Um, there's a big opportunity. Uh, the whole industry is actually helping each other out, no? Kasi, the only way for our economy to really rise is if we help each other. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're doing this with RT. Kasi kung tinulungan namin kayo, kumita kayo, bumili kayo sa ibang mga supplier, ganun eh. It's a cycle eh, di ba? Mag-advertise kayo, we help each other out. And that's the only way because there's no tourists coming in. There's no influx of money. It's really us helping each other out. Um, food is the easiest thing to do. And kung meron kayong masarap na food, let me know. And maybe I can help you out uh, promote your food as well. Okay. Good. Wow. How many of you are inspired? Got a lot of ideas? How many of you ay nagutom? <laughs> Marami bang mga food entrepreneurs dito? Marami yes. Ba? Oh, my Malita ko marami eh. Marami, Anton. So, I'm sure so many. That's what, you know, one of the reasons why I always invite you, Anton. Kasi, pati ako na-inspire ako eh. I, I always get, learn something. I, uh, every time I invite you, may bago eh. <laughs> oh, tsaka ano, ang e-commerce talaga will quadruple next year. Ah. Right. So, do you want to be part of that hmm. industry? Madali. Um, food is the easiest. Hmm. Anap kayo recipe sa bahay nyo or... You know, if you have family and friends, marami naman tayo eh. Minsan nanimiglik lang natin, masarap pala yung ganitong <laughs> uh, mga pagkain sa bahay natin, di ba? Okay. So I know, Anton, you're super busy, pero thank you for uh, including us in your schedule for today. So marami na. Yes. Ay, sabi niya, gusto daw nila. So hataw na tayo, di ba? Uh, Ivy Sanders, <laughs> I have got lots of ideas. So maraming maraming salamat, Anton. And yes. uh, see you again later, huh? Yes. Thank you. Uh, always happy to do this, to inspire more people, and to help as much food entrepreneurs as possible. Um, you know, uh, just reach out. Uh, the best way is via our Instagram, pa rin, uh, our awesome planet. Sige. All right. okay. How about any call numbers or, or uh, website that they can visit so that they can subscribe to you or follow yes. you? Um, so we do uh, our websites. Uh, so our main blog is in awesome.blog. So I'll uh, type it on the chat. Um, I'll type it on the chat. And then for those, we actually have a business na global investing. No, We teach a lot of people to invest globally. Kasi nga, this is the start of the next tech boom. A lot of the gaming stocks, you know, if you're interested also, that's one way uh, to learn how to invest. Uh, Roblox is doing an IPO. Airbnb is doing an IPO this December. So there's a lot of those opportunities that's happening now also. A lot of the, some of the food stocks also are um, on sale. So those are the two sites. And of course, uh, sa Instagram, um, for food particularly, is our awesome planet. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Anton. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. All right, thank everybody, you, give thank me you, a virtual applause for Mr. Anton Diaz, Mr. Awesome Planet, Mr. Awesome himself. So I hope you are encouraged, inspired, and motivated to even level up your food business your, if you're into food or even apply those uh, principles that you got from him, right? 
So ano yung mga natutunan natin, di ba? Yung mga the most googled keywords, di ba? Best affordable. Okay. So alam nyo na kung anong gagawin nyo. Oh, tapos indulgent, di ba? Alcohol, cakes, chocolate. Uh, iwasan na natin yung mga super competitive um, niches. Alright? Of course, design is big. Okay? We looked at Vito's Barbecue and uh, mga regional delicacy. So, you know, look at your talents. Look at your yung mga talino nyo kung ano yung mga uh, kung saan kayo galing. Baka meron kayo mga offer ng mga recipes that people can indulge in. Not even, I mean, this Christmas and until next year. Okay? And also, of course, look at the packaging. Okay. So, salamat again, Anton. And uh, excited na. Marami na excited. So, we're going to continue uh, our presentation. How many of you are, have you, are you learning so far? Can you put in the chat box, learning? Yes? Natututo ba tayo? Are you learning? Can you put in the chat box? And just say, I am learning. All right. So let's continue. Excited na ako. So after Anton, okay, what else, Ivan? Remember our principles? Right? Ayan, nakikita ko na ibang. Oh, and Ray Kaloy. Kaloy, thank you for coming in. He's in the house right now. <laughs> we'll have you a little later, Ray. Ah. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So remember the PISO startup model, di ba? Uh, again, problems and irritants, look at those problems and irritants that you can solve as opportunities. Diba? Ano ba mga irritants din ngayon? Or problems? Marami po mga negosyante, franchisees who are struggling and going bankrupt. Okay. In the malls, food traffic is low. Rental, kahit slash na. Pagbalik ng 2021, babalik na raw nila ngayon, it is high. Right? In fact, uh, there are many businesses that are going bankrupt because of that. So solutions and opportunities. If you have a business like me, I close about 12 stores that were, that were mall-based. Of course, we're looking at online selling platforms and malls. Dati hindi ting, hindi ko nga pinapansin mga yan eh. I regret it now. But as Anton said, next year, it will quadruple. Okay? So there are solutions being offered right now. Online selling platforms, of course, there's Facebook and Instagram, like Anton mentioned. And of course, there are online selling malls, okay, which we'll show later. Also, bago po ito, may online franchising. Kung dati, franchising was uh, offline or in the malls, may online franchising na rin. So let's talk about the most popular e-commerce platforms, of course. The most, if you can see here, Lazada is number one. Of course, Shopee is there. Um, how many of you are familiar with Lazada and Shopee, Zalora? Okay, meron na nakilala si Steve C. Okay, his business pulled in 114,000 orders in one day. Okay, wala siyang physical store. And I just want to encourage you, I'm not a spokesperson for Lazada or Shopee or any, or any online platform, but you know, try it. Try selling your products online. Choose that platform. It's very easy. Okay, free registration. And in fact, I'm going to uh, share with you two stories isang babae, isang lalaki, of successful online sellers para naman ma-inspire kayo if you're not yet on an online platform. So let's watch this. Ang sinasabi ng magulang ko, kailangan matuto tayo tumayo sa sarili natin pa, ha? Kung hindi ako nakinig sa bawat sinasabi nila, siguro hindi ko narating kung ano yung meron ako eh. I'm Jocelyn Elecho. I'm a owner of Glamoraza Items and a Lazada seller. Lumang kaya ako dito talaga sa Manila. Nagbibenta ang mami ko all kinds of products like vegetables, fruits, and even kitchenware in a public market. From then, sabi ko, someday I want to have my own business. Nag-sign up ako sa Lazada August 2015. During that time, ang stock lang po namin ay tatlo per product po. We sell jewelries, we have earrings, we have rings, we have two-in-one, and then we have four-in-one sets. During the time na Lazada's entering into my life, nag-passed away din yung daddy ko. Sobrang lukot ako because ang daddy ko talaga ang nagpo-provide sa akin. 
one day, tinitigan ko yung bahay namin. Parang lumang-lumang bahay na siya. Sabi ko, <laughs> Sabi ko, Lloyd, paano ko mapapagawa itong bahay namin? Papanoorin ko na lang bang mabulok to. Sabi ko, kailangan gumalaw ako. Kailangan magtrabaho pa ako. Kasi meron akong nanay na dapat kong tulungan at suportahan. Unti-unti na, sa paglaki ni Lazada, kasama kami sa mga merchant na lumaki. Napagawa ko siya na merong architect, na merong engineer, si Gosto Lazada. We have three stores in Lazada. We have two for the jewelries, the Glamorosa items, and the other one is Sushalera. As a mobile, Glamorosa mobile accessories. We have different kinds of teasing, tempered glass, headset, and headphone. We make it sure that each design we have at least 1,000 pieces. Siguro it's about time naman na mag-give back. Every Christmas, pumupunta kami sa mga public hospital para magbigay ng mga gift na nasa ward agent. Kapag pasukan naman, we also gave school supplies sa mga public school. It's not enough na nagbibenta ka lang. Success means to me, sharing. I-share mo yan sa lahat ng tao, pamilya mo, kaibigan mo, para hindi lang ikaw ang nagtatagumpay. Nagtatagumpay din ang kapwa mo. Ayan. So, you know, it's so inspiring to watch these ordinary people, mga nag-umpisa sa online selling ng maliit lang, no? Meron pa ako napanood na, actually, nag-start, he was, uh, trabaho niyo dati, janitor. Meron ngayon, online seller na siya with a big store. I'll leave you Uh, I'll, I'll give you one more story. Lalaki naman po ang uh, pagsalitain natin, pag-share natin. Alright? Ako si Joseph Aquino. May ari ng JJ General Merchandise at isang Lazada seller. Panganay ako. Labing dalawa kami magkakapatid. Actually, early age, four years old, natuto na akong mamili ng isda sa Malabon at saka sa Nabotas. Alas 9 ng gabi, pupunta kami sa Fishport para kinaumagahan may ititinda yung pera ko sa palengke. So after that, after makatulog ng konti, pasok naman ako sa school. When I graduated, I started from sales agent to become national sales manager. I'm preparing for my fallback on for my retirement. My greatest dream is makapagtayo ako ng sarili kong negosyo na very established. So that is my main goal. Nag-try ako ng business many times. I tried manpower agency, restaurants, yung mga franchise ng food cart. Nagtayo din ako ng mga tindahan for general merchandise. But lahat sila may tendency talagang malugi. Sabi nga nila, there is no time for quitting until you become successful. At ang lahat ay may tamang oras. At dumating na nga yung tamang oras. Noong March 2018, pop up sa app na nag-i-invite si Lazada na you can join as a seller kahit wala kang requirements. So I tried. Na-approve ako. That was the start of my successful business career at Lazada. I started with 5,000 and bumili lang ako ng paunti-unti ng produkto. Based on the research, ang lahat ng tao mahilig kumain, mahilig sa sweets. Noong una, bago ako pumasok ng opisina, lahat nakaprepare na yung mga for drop-off ko ng mga order for that day. Tapos sa gabi, pag uwi ko, I need to answer mga customer inquiry. We cater health and beauty products, especially mga rejuvenating sets, mga slimming agent, may mga whitening agent, lotions. And we have also grocery line. So, nandito yung mga snacks, especially yung mga brownies, chichirya, biscuits, cookies, and pastillas, yema, and some assortment of gummy and jelly candies. Hindi ko in-expect na ganito kabilis ang paglaki ko sa Lazada. On the 12-12 campaign, that was my first 1 million peso sales ever in my life. So, dahil nasa bahay lang kami, hindi makagalaw ang mga tao ko punong-puno. So, I sold around 20,000 pieces on that day. Doon nag-umpisa yung talagang nakilala yung aking store sa Lazada. 
Right now, nag-a-average ako ng 150 packages in a day. Actually, Lazada is sideline ko lang kasi I have a full-time job. So I have my employee. So they are managing my day-to-day -day on Lazada. Then after office hours, I'm just checking na lang and approving everything. My goal also is to have a corporate social responsibility. On this sideline, I purchase lot. Ang isang malaking plano ko dyan kasi I need to build livelihood program. We are exploring homemade chili paste and some local salad dressing to help the people to earn and to build their own product na para kumita rin yung community. Successful ako kasi nakakapag-create ako ng trabaho, nakakatulong ako, especially yung mga remote community. Ang paglaki ng business ko ay hindi ko nararamdaman sa nakukuha ko, kundi dun sa naibibigay ko. Yeah, very inspiring, di ba? How many of you are inspired now to start your own online store, di ba? Even food, di ba? I met in a good negotiation meeting, I met uh, one of the executives sa Lazada, sabi nga sa akin, pati alam mo, milk tea, ang laki sila magbenta ng milk tea sa Lazada. Ha? So, wag yun natin mamaliitin itong uh, online, you can start small uh, with one product and just grow it, okay? I mentioned earlier, that uh, one of the solutions to the problems of franchisees, mga negosyante, I'm showing you a slide of all the uh, offline businesses that we had, na nasa mall. Okay, I believe that uh, there's still a place for that in the future, but now, as Anton said, you know, online is going to quadruple. So how about online franchise? So of course, marami nag-aabang sa inyo, and I'm going to call on now my entrepreneur wife, uh, walang iba, kundi ang Miss Universe ng aking buhay, who is super, 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 super sipag naman sa pagninegosyo. And aside from having uh, businesses on her own, in kanyang speaking business and training business, and also her um, uh, real estate business, she also has been uh, involved in online franchising. So I'm going to turn over the floor to my one and only uh, Miss Universe ng aking buhay, Miss Miriam Kiambao. Palakpakan palakpaka naman natin si Miriam sa aking Mrs. Universe. Are you there? Masana Hello! Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Miriam Kiambao. Kayo ba naapektuhan ngayong panahon ng pandemya? Naghahanap ba kayo ng food business na pwede nyo ipatakbuhin? Kahit kayo yung nasa bahay lang? Well, look no more because I'm going to present to you an online franchise business that has blessed not just me and my family, but uh, so many Filipinos all over the world. Okay, so ngayon po, uh, pasensya na po dun sa plan siya. Nandito po ako sa studio, sa dressing room ng uh, uh, 700 Club Asia kasi katatapos lang po ng taping. Pero I'd like to share with you uh, a video of I.I. De Las Alas who is the endorser and also one of the franchisees for this business. So let me just share with you my screen. Hi, babe. Ang ganda mo. Hi. Salamat. Maga naman. Ang pogi mo rin. <laughs> Miss na kita. Buong araw akong wala. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wala. Ano nangyari? Okay, wait lang ha. Wait. Sige. Ayun. Okay. So share screen. All right. So here it is. I'm going to play. So, ba'y naapektuhan at namum problema sa panahon ng pandemya? Pwes, hindi ka nag-iisa. Worry ko mo dahil kagaya ko na tag- Ay, hindi ba yun nakikita?
Again. Friends, ikaw ba'y naapektuhan at namumroblema sa panahon ng pandemya? Well, hindi ka nag-iisa. Worry ko mo! Dahil kagaya ko, natagpuan ko na ang isang negosyo na makakatulong ng malaki para tayo maging happy! Ito ay ang Shamay King Online Franchise! Shomai King ay kilala sa industriya na may labing apat na taong experience sa food cart franchise business. Wow. Mayroon ito more than 1,000 outlets nationwide at may kasama pang apat na ibang franchise concepts under the JC Worldwide Incorporated. Gaya na Shopao the King, Potato King, Noodle House at Burger Factory. Ito ay may sariling planta at kaya mag-manufacture ng hanggang 30 million pieces ng siomay at hanggang 7 million pieces ng siopaw per month. Bongga, diba friend? Dati-dati ay kailangan mong mabunguna ng 288,000 para sa isang franchise concept o halos 1.5 million pesos para mag-franchise ng limang konsepto. But not anymore, friends! Ngayon, a limited time offer, 15888, or ina! Hindi lang isa, kundi lahat ng konsepto, pwede mong itinda online. Tama ang narinig mo, friends! Mura siya dahil hindi mo kailangan ng food price, maghanap ng pwesto, o magbayan ng renta. At dahil online, mas malaki ang magiging market mo. Walang sakit sa ulo. Panalo! Ikaw ay bibigyan ng shop link o online store na iaalok mo sa mga kaibigan mo. At doon sila bibili ng mga produkto mo online. At sa food na o-order nila, automatic may 30% profit ka na. Halimbawa, nag-order sila ng worth 1,000 na sopaw at siomay malinaw na metro ng pesos ka doon. Ganun lang kasimple. At ang the best pa dito, friend. Shomai King na ang bahala sa online payments at mag-process ng deliveries ng mga suki mo para pati sila ay happy-happy. I-share mo lang at i-market ang iyong Shomai King shop link sa mga friends mo. Ganun lang ka-easy. At kahit nasa bahay ka lang, Pwede kang kumita ng hanggang 60,000 pesos a month. Cellphone lang ang katapat. Bonggang bongga talaga. I love it! I love it! Omae wa mou shinde iru. Sino sinasabi mo I love it? Siyempre naman, ikaw daddy. Siyempre, love na love kita, no? Ikaw at ang Shomai King online franchise na negosyo natin. Kaya kami ni Darl naniniwala na may pera sa Shomai habang nasa bahay. Tala na at maging isang Shomai King online franchisee! So there you have it guys, ang Shomai King Online Franchise na ini-endorse ni, um, ni uh, Ay Ay De Las Alas from 288,888 sa isang traditional food cart dahil nga new normal ngayon at nag-transition lahat online. Binabayan ng 15,888 pero hindi lang po isang konsepto yan. 7-in-1 online franchise. Kasama po ang Boy Bondat, Mang Box Lechon, Shaw My King, Potato King, Shaw Pau The King, Burger Factory, Noodle House. At kung mag-invest po kayo sa 7 brands na yan, alam nyo po, traditionally, you will have to come up with 5.3 million. But for a limited promo, limited time only, that is only, you need to invest only 15,888. At hindi lang po yan. Kung Shomai Key franchisee ka, franchisee ka na rin ng Copper Mask, at syempre ng Ninja Ayon, 
personal air purifier. So as you can see, all in one franchise for only 15,888 and you can earn up to 30% sa bawat um sa uh, sa mga sa mga products na binebenta ng Show My King up to 30% income for each cell phone or computer at internet lang ang katapat. Hindi niyo na po kailangan lumabas ng bahay para bubenta dahil gamit lang ang iyong internet. Pwede niyong i-share ang inyong shop link sa inyong mga kaibigan within Metro Manila o kaya ibenta ang front uh, mag-refer ng mga tao and for cash and skin promo pag nag-refer ka ng mga friends mo you, the company will give you 5000 pesos referral rewards pag ikaw po ay nag-invest traditionally you can earn up to 30 sa isang traditional food card but through this online franchise you can earn up to 60,000 monthly selling Shaw My King and other food products pero huwag po kayong maniwala dyan, napakaliit po ng 30,000 hanggang 60,000 pesos monthly take into consideration my sister-in-law, alam nyo po no, uh, ako po uh, na-introduce po ako through Tintin Babaw Nung August 12 po ako nag-sign up. Nung narinig ko po na 15,888 yan, sabi ko, napakamura nito. Kasi po, dahil nabanggit nga ni RD na kami po ay uh, on na uh, food cart entrepreneur sa mga malls, alam niyo po, we have to come up with 650,000 hanggang 850,000. Isang food cart lamang yan sa mall. Pero, nung narinig ko yung 15,888, sabi ko, napakamura na to. And with 5,000 pesos referral rewards fee for every person I will refer. Sabi ko yung 15,888 na yun, bawing ba yung, bawi ko yun with just 3 to 4 referrals. So, agkatapos ko nag-sign up, nag-isip ako ng mga tao na marirefer ko. Isa sa mga nirefer ko ay itong aking sister-in-law na si Cherry Roberto Garcia. Alam niyo po, siya po ay isang interior designer. Ngunit mula nung nag-lockdown, na natigil po ang lahat ng projects at wala na rin siyang kita. Niyaya ko siya sa business na ito, ishinare po niya sa mga kaibigan niya at alam niyo po kumikita na rin siya. Last month, siya po ay na-ospital. She had to undergo surgery at umabot ng 200,000 ang kanyang uh, naging hospitalization expenses. Thankfully, Partly, nasagot po yan ng insurance. Pero meron pong natirang 92,000 pesos na hindi niya kinayang bayaran ng insurance. So, ang ginawa niya, binayaran niya sa credit card. Ngayon, last month, nag-text siya sa akin. Sabi niya, Miriam, pumasok na yung aking credit card bills. Meron akong 92,000 na kailangan bayaran sa aking hospitalization. Pero thank God, inibitahan mo ako dito sa Show My King Food franchise. At nung tinignan ko ang aking uh, commissions, inabot na ako ng 90,000 pesos in my wallet. Kaya, kaya ko nang bayaran ang aking credit card bills. In other words, 2,000 pesos na lang po ang inambag niya sa kanyang hospitalization at surgery pa yon ha? Another case study, ito pong si Dina Brugada. Isa po siyang dating employee ng ABS-CBN at segment writer po siya ni Tintin Babaw na siya namang nag-refer sa aming dalawa dito sa business na ito. Ngayon si Dina, um, dati, nang mula nung napasara itong ABS-CBN, pumasok na rin siya dito sa online franchise. Nakakatuwa dahil marami na rin siyang na-refer at marami na rin siyang nabenta na mga produkto ng Show My King. Hindi lang yan. Gusto rin, nakakatuwa kasi sa pamamagitan ng business na ito, nakatulong po siya sa kanyang mga magulang. Na-real, nung, um, nung nasiraan sila ng aircon, kailangan niya mag-invest uh, mag sa isang air conditioning that cost about 48,000 pesos. Pero dahil nga gusto niyang i-honor ang kanyang mga magulang, hindi ba sa panahon ng pandemya, sino ang gagastos ng 48,000 pesos, di ba? Para, para lang sa isang aircon. Pero sa pamamagitan ng Show My King, hindi po siya nagpakundaman na gastos siya ng ganong klaseng pera para i-honor ang kanyang mga magulang. Another story, si Pastor Ariel Bernardo. Siya po ay, mga ka ay kaibigan namin ni RD based in South Korea. Naimbitahan ko rin siya dito sa business na ito. At ngayon po, siya ay kumikita. Alam niya naman po ang mga pastor, hindi naman mataas ang kanilang sweldo. At kadalasan, naglalabas pa sila ng pera para makatulong sa ibang tao. Nagsimula siya dito sa business na ito um, mga two months ago. 
And one month after he uh, he started this business, marami na rin siyang na-refer na sa business na ito. Ang kwento niya, for three years, nagbabayad siya ng kanyang credit card bill. Pero after one month of doing this business, yung 150,000 na credit card bill na binabayaran niya for three years, kanyang nabayaran in full in just one month. O oh, ba? Pati mga pastor, nakagaya niya, ngayon ay natutulungan na. Tingnan niyo po, naga, ang business na ito, hindi lang, hindi lang pwedeng gawin dito lang sa Pilipinas, kundi marami na rin pong mga franchises, not just in South Korea, but all around the world. I have uh, franchises that I have referred in this business in Canada, in US. Marami din po kami mga uh, na-refer galing sa Oman, meron sa New Zealand, sa Australia, sa Japan, sa Hong Kong, sa US, sa Dubai. Maraming marami po ang pwedeng uh, mag-benefit sa business na ito. One such uh, beneficiary ay itong si uh, Gerald Sibayan. Hindi man siya nakatira sa ibang bansa, siya ay nakatira dito sa Pilipinas. Pero dahil sa connections niya bilang isang pilot, nako, napakarami na po niyang na-invite dito sa business na ito. Si Gerald Sibayan ay ang asawa ni ay Idelas Alas, who is actually a licensed pilot. Pero mula nung nag-lockdown, syempre, hindi na rin siya makalipad at wala na rin siyang kita. Ang sabi niya bilang isang pilot, Normally, ang kita nila ay up to 150,000 pesos. Pero dahil nga hindi na siya makapagtrabaho bilang isang pilot dahil nga lockdown, naisipan niya na mag-focus na lang siya dito sa kanyang Show My King online franchise business. Nag-focus siya dito full time. At alam niyo po yung 150,000 na yon kinita po niya in just one week. In one week, kinita po niya yung dapat nakikitain niya bilang isang pilot in one month. Ngayon po, napakarami na po niya uh, na na-refer sa business na ito at dumalago ng lumalago ang kanyang team, pati po si I. I. De Las Alas ay naging investor na rin dito. At alam niyo po, in just a matter of four months, kumita na po si Gerald ng 2 million pesos. Yes, mga kaibigan, 2 million pesos, it is very possible in this business. Pero hindi po na hindi po sa pagmamalaki, nagganyang karami ang kinikita nila at kinikita namin. Ako po uh, mula nung ako ay nag-invest mula nung uh, August 12, yung 15,888 due to the referral reward system, nabawi ko po yan in just several days. In, in less than one week nabawi ko yung 15,888 na yan. At um, mga 2 uh, August 12 August, September, October, November. Three months na po ako dito sa business na ito. Alam niyo po ang kinita ko dito, 500,000 pesos na. Si RD, nag-invest din, niyaya ako at iningganya ko mag-invest dito sa business na ito. Ang, halos wala po siyang trinatrabaho. Uh, Nagre-refer po siya ng mga, sa mga events kagaya na ito. At nilalagyan ko po siya ng tao dun sa ilalim ng team niya pero siya po ay kumita ng 150,000 pesos. Actually, sinabi nga niya, meron naman akong ginagawa. E ano yun? Sinusuportahan kita. O, di ba? Pero posible po yun. At alam niyo po, all of these are just from the bed. All of these are earning from home. In other words, hindi na po namin kailangan lumabas ng bahay para kumita kasi cellphone at internet lang po ang katapat. Kaya namin kumita na ng ganun karami basta sisipagin lang. Alam niyo po, Sino ba yung mga tao na sa likod ng business na ito? Ang founders po ng JC Worldwide Franchise, which is the company that has started Show My King 14 years ago, ay si Jonathan So at si Carlito Makandangdang. Dahil po sa dami po ng mga tao ang tinulungan nila, they are recently hailed as the most outstanding global entrepreneurs at the uh, Guillermo Mendoza um, Memorial Awards. And Show My King, according to the Mindanao Daily Mirror, was hailed as Asia Leaders Awards Franchise Company of the Year. Tingnan nyo naman, no, sa dami ng mga taong tinutulungan, not just in the Philippines, but all, even OFWs from all around the world, talagang these, uh, these partners, Jonathan So and Carlito Makadangdang, 
are really helping so much people and have been recognized by top awards awarding bodies at hindi po binabayaran yan. Kaya kung kayo po ay interesado, everyday po meron kaming online business presentation. Kung gusto nyo maging online franchisee and to earn from home, cellphone at internet lang katapat, mag-register po kayo sa susunod na presentation. There are limited slots only and yung 15,888 is just a promo. Deadline po niyan is until Monday. If you want to register for the next uh, online presentation, just visit this website bit.ly slash online franchise biz and you will receive an email of the Zoom link to the, your chosen availability and presentation. So, maraming salamat po. Yan po ang aking, um, yan po ang aking uh, sharing sa inyo ngayon. Pero alam niyo po, more than the franchise, more than earning money, ang napaka-beneficial, ang napaka-rewarding um, po sa akin ito ay marami po mga taong natutulungan sa panahon ng pandemya. Imagine, may mga taong kumikita ng 500,000, 200,000, some even, yung 30,000 na yun, kinikita nila even in just one day. At gaya ni Gerald Sibaya na talagang pinutan niyang business na to, umabot siya ng 2 million pesos. And you could be the next franchisee who can earn even in the midst of the pandemic. Hindi lang earn, hindi lang survive, but thrive in the midst of the pandemic. So again, if you want to register for the next info session, bit.ly bit slash online franchise biz thank you so much thank you babe just show it uh just, can you just type it in the chat box so that people can follow it you know just wanted to share i wanted me to share that because uh as i mentioned marami kami mga franchise uh, uh that, that we invested in in the malls that just closed and we were enticed by it you know honestly because uh, there are people making half a million a month uh more than that having uh uh, franchises, sa mga kilalang franchises, hindi ko na sasabihin ko na yun. Pero, we had about 15 stores. No? Pero, marami doon ang nagsara. Actually, about 12 or 13 ang nagsara na doon. Okay, because of the pandemic. But now, uh, look at the, how companies like Show My King have pivoted and are now offering from, kasi yung problema, di ba? Wala na tao sa mall eh. So, ano natin yung offering ngayon? So, of online franchising, is one of the solutions that is being offered as uh, to those problems or irritants. So thank you again, Miriam, ang aking Miss Universe ng buhay ko. Pwede niyo rin maging Miss Universe ng buhay niyo pag naging franchise. <laughs> I don't like in a franchise sa career. At alam mo, just, RD, just to, at alam mo, RD, ang napakaganda talaga ng business na ito. Pag ikaw ang nag-sign up, hindi ka lang recruit kasi ang recruit, Pag sign up mo, bahala ka na sa buhay mo. Pero dito sa kumpanyang ito, it will offer you free training. It will offer you uh, free support. If we are like a team that we will support each other, we will hold your hand because your success is our goal. Hindi, hindi ka namin iiwan. And ang napakaganda dito, dun sa 15,888 na yon, wala nang hidden fees. Kung, uh, kung sa traditional franchise, di ba, meron pa ang royalty fee, meron pang marketing fee, uh, marami pang ibang fees, babayad ka pa ng renta, etc. Dito, wala na. No royalty fees, no marketing fees, no renewal fees, and most of all, perpetual yung franchise na ito. In fact, hindi lang siya lifetime perpetual. Pwede mo po itong ipamana sa mga anak mo at sa mga apo mo. Ganun po kaganda ang business na ito. So once again, if you want to register, uh, I, I will uh, post again the website on how you can register. It's Bitly Online Franchise Biz. Ayan po. Thank okay. you. Thank you. We can uh, start Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye-bye. So let's give a big hand for Miriam and uh, she's so passionate about this. It's marami siya natutulungan. Actually, she found out kasi nga, ito, bumili siya ng copper mask and she started this pandemic actually doing uh, supplying hospitals with medical supplies with uh, masks, uh, surgical gloves, etc. etc. Pumasok siya sa trading, pagpasok, pag-import ng mga face shields. Pero uh, dito siya nag-stick nag sa copper mask when she found out that it was being sold by Tintin Baba. And then nag-inquire siya and the rest is history. So marami tayong options, di ba? So my uh, franchising offline. This is online franchising. You can start your own business. 
like what Anton said, um, start your own, offer your own recipes, offer your own food business. Sarili mo, pwede rin yon. And I'm going to introduce you someone uh, who who uh, I really admire. He's based in Cebu. And actually, he can also help you uh, create your own product. Kung gusto nyo ng sarili niyong produkto, nagtotol manufacturing siya. I'll tell, he will tell you more about that. No? Pero pwede siyang gumawa ng mga produkto na kape, uh, I don't know, para sa inyo na may na may branding nyo pa, di ba? So, uh, I'd like to introduce you to someone who has literally uh, came from rags to riches. Nagbebenta siya dati ng rags. Ngayon, mayaman na mayaman na siya. Pero humble na humble pa rin. I met him in Go Negosyo. Magkasama kami, speaking together in Cebu, uh, in, in Bohol, at kung saan-saan palupalop ng, <laughs> ng Pilipinas. So, hindi ko na papatagalin. Let us all welcome my brother in in uh, in Go Negosyo, si Mr. Ray Kalooy. Ray, pasok na. Lagi. Yes, uh, RD. Yes. Uh, klaro ba ko dyan? Yes, sama ka. Share okay, naman, thank you. Share mo naman story uh, mo. Yes. Yeah, maraming salamat sa for the invitations dito sa uh, pasaya na, pasayahin natin. No? Ay yung mga paano maging negosyante uh, sa panahon ng pandemya okay so uh, bro rd uh, sinabi mo rugs to riches hindi rugs to rugs pa rin eh uh, kasi yung una kong negosyo is rugs so uh, you know uh, to our listeners i started this uh, business when i uh, my luck was during or was started when I was laid off from my job. So, uh, tamang-tama ngayon, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ang dami mga, ano, mga brothers and sisters natin, mga kasama na walang mga trabaho kasi na-lay off sila o na-retrain sila. Ang iba naman ay nag-skeletal uh, force. But we have, everybody has a purpose why we are born, why at least malaman natin yung purpose natin. So again, I start, my luck was started when I was laid off from my job in 1991 during the Gulf War time. no? So uh, my first business was basahan, rugs. So, uh, di ba, yung piso-piso, yung mga, kita mo yung mga bata nag ano ng mga uh, ano yan, basahan sa mga sasakyan. But uh, hindi ko na hindi ko ginaya yung ano nila, yung style nila. Iba yung iba yung style ko. Kasi uh, I had no uh, capital at the time. Wala talaga akong capital except my belief, except my dreams, except myself and my knowledge. No, uh, I uh, I work as uh, sales representative at the time. So uh, so my first business was basahan. So wala akong kapital. Ang ginawa ko, uh, Bro RD, uh, pinutahan ko yung gumawa ng basahan uh, at iniwan ko yung uh, ID ko. Yung, yung identifications ko. Kasi sabi ko, Sir, uh, ito lang ma-collateral uh, ko sa'yo. Kung pwede, uh, iwan ko tong ID tapos sa uh, bigyan mo ako ng mga stocks, ako nang bahala magbinta. Now, uh, why I, I chose this identifications? Because ID is more important than money. Because sometimes, iba, pag mawala yung uh, pitaka natin, yung wallet natin, sabi natin, ah, bahala na yung pera. Basta maibalik lang yung mga documents, palong lalo na yung ID ko. So it's more important, the identifications is more important important because it refers you. It's all about you. Money can be lost, but your dignity once is once na ma, ano, masera, mahirap na. So, iwan ko yun. Bin, uh, binigay, binigyan ako ng uh, initial stocks. Initial stocks na 100 kilos. So, sa 100 kilos, Ang presyo na ibinigay sa akin is 15 pesos per kilo. I sold that in uh, mga industrial na nag ano na mga export. 
I sold it at the price of 25 pesos. So mayroon akong 10 pesos per kilo. In a week, makadispose ako ng uh, 100 kilos. So may 1,000 ako dyan. 1,000 times mo apat na linggo. So in, in, in one month, I had 4,000 pesos at the time. So paano ko yung ang, ang, ang profit ko, hindi ko ginastos. Yung para sa mga nakikinig sa atin o nanonood, yung mga startup or yung mga mga ano pa nag-umpisa pa ng negosyo. Pag halimbawa, may ginansya ka, may profit ka, huwag mong gagamitin sa ibang uh, purpose except ibalik mo doon sa negosyo mo. So, may 4,000 in 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 one year na nag uh, negosyo ko diyan, magkano na yung 4,000 ko in one year? That's almost 48,000. Kasi yung ang uh, ginamit ko ng pera para sa pagkain namin sa yung wife ko nagtatrabaho pa at that time. So may ano kami, may sahod, may sahod siya na yung pagsustenin, pagsustenar lang ng aming day-to-day uh, -day na na pangangailangan. So 40,000 in a year. So sa yung 40,000 ko yun na. Yun na ang naging puhunan ko diyan. So from there, the rest are history. So now, I am uh, I have several uh, businesses like uh, you know uh, in Manila. I have uh, we are operating nationwide, as uh, mentioned by Bro RD that uh, uh, we are into toll manufacturing. We have manufacturing. We have distributions. Uh, we have uh, pizza restaurants, and we have also. Uh, uh, pen centers um, um, and mayroon kami manufacturing ng mga noodles. So ngayon, ang ginawa ko sa pandemic na ito, parang itong pandemic is para nating sa, sa akin is just only a, a matter of ano ba? Uh, another crisis na kasi I, I went through many crises personal in 1997 uh, I started this uh, business during Asian crisis. In 2008, a global crisis. So, maraming, maraming crisis na nadaanan din. Pero uh, what I learned is, uh, gumawa ako ng produkto o negosyo na dalawa. Produkto na pang good time at saka produkto na pang bad times. So, yung ano yung mga product ko na mga panahon sa mga krisis o yung mga noodles yung mga noodles uh, talagang patok ngayon in fact uh, hindi kami makaserve sa demand so uh, during naman sa peak yung magandang panahon ay uh, yung mga toll manufacturing yung coffee yung mga yung supply namin sa mga hotel resorts and uh, mga restaurants uh, talagang affected kami diyan but uh, we have we have offsetted yung uh, yung losses namin dito uh, saka yung sa opportunity namin sa mga products na yung uh, ginawa namin uh, product for uh, pang bad times so yun ang RD yung uh, ano ko lang uh, yung lang na short ko na uh, I've been in 28 years in doing this business so kung may magtatanong dyan kung paano natin na uh, napalago yung negosyo Siguro I can answer that because uh, um, I am the living still, ano ba, yung from start did nothing, parang salay pa kapital lang. Uh, then now I already am more than uh, 200 uh, people working around us. Galing, galing. Salamat, Rhea. Dagan salamat for your uh, story, for sharing your story at inspiration mo. Meron na akong tatanong sa'yo and then maybe... Uh, uh, while we're waiting for questions from Melon Man, uh, if you want to ask questions again, like uh, mentioned earlier, just put it in the chat box. Pero ang tanong ko lang, Ray, paano ka, ano yung, paano, ano yung, maybe mention three success principles for you that made you jump from, nung umpisa ka, nagbebenta ng travel, ng basahan, tapos bilang ngayon, 
Baka nagtataksi, oh ngayon, ano na siya? Successful namin ng tao, 250, manufacturer na, ikaw nagsusupply ng coffee, alam ko, uh, <laughs> sa mga airlines, uh, you make noodles, uh, alam ko, kung kwenta mo lahat, oras-oras yun eh, pero can you just mention three principles na kailangan nila manama? Kasi marami din sa kanya na siguro in a position na malay off, tapos nagkinegosyo sila ngayon dahil nga sa situation, So, pa-share naman yung tatlong yun. For you, yun na pinaka-importante. Yung number one, uh, number one na, na values or principles ng isang negosyante. negosyante or kahit hindi negosyante. Or in, even in your personal life. Hmm. Always remember that there is no such thing as substitute of hard work. Hmm. Yun. Substitute of hard work. Walang substitute ng hard work. No? Wala. So ikalawa yung 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 triptenis yung triptenis di ba ngayon siguro uh, parang realization natin uh, kasi we used to be what we call this one day millionaire <laughs> di ba dati oh ngayon parang na realize na, na hindi pala mali tayo so we have to be uh report no whatever what is really needed not what we wanted to ana uh, So ganun. And then ikatlo is number three, the most important is God's will. Bakit ikatlo ang God's will? Kasi yung dalawa mong nauna is your equity for him. It's your equity, 'di ba? Ah, uh, kailangan na kumilos yung tao bago siya tumulong sa iyo. So that's how that's how our principles in life in doing business. Galing. Wow! Grabe. Ray talaga. You never fail to inspire. Oy. <laughs> so, salamat. Pero one more thing before you go. Can you just put in the chat box or can you just plug? Kasi baka meron dyan mga entrepreneur na ano ba yung tool manufacturing? Just one minute lang. Can you explain? At pa- paano sila makakontak sa'yo para makakuha o makasiguro kuha ng pwede ba sila mag-iwan ng ID sa iyo para makakuha ng produkto? <laughs> yan, yan. Uh, that's that's is why uh, I I ano ginawa ko na yun eh sa may mapupunta sa office ko ganito, wala siyang puhunan, mangungutang siya, wala siyang pera. So sabi ko may ID ka ba diyan? <laughs> Sabi niya, driver license to, sir. Hindi pwede iiwan. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, I have uh, I have in my, uh, you can reach me out sa uh, Facebook ko, Ray A. Kaluoy. Uh, may diyan, angat lahat. Ang naka, naka, anong tawag dyan, yung profile pics. Saka nasa Instagram din, Twitter. And then, uh, uh, I have, uh, of course, my sa business ko, my website naman kami, www.rncmarketing.com.ph mm. So, so nandiyan yung mga yung mga products and services namin. So, uh, just uh, ano lang, nandiyan yung email, nandiyan yung contacts, uh, yung, tele- yung cellphone number ko, nandiyan eh. Ah, sige. So, ako matatakot dyan. <laughs> Makilagay naman, Ray, sa, sa chat box kung pwede mo i-type yung, yung email at website. So ano na ano pa rin na paggawa sa iyo na to manufacturing kape, ano po kape? Ano pa? Oh, uh, yung uh, uh, noodles, pwede kami yeah. gagawa ng tinatawag nating private labeling. Hmm. Uh, oh, halimbawa, uh, RD noodles. Yun. Ah, uh, uh, di ba? Ayos. Pwede 'yan. Oo. Wow. Uh, uh. So, mas marami kung bibili kung Miriam siguro, mas marami kung bibili kung Miriam na nakalagay hindi. <laughs> Hardy <laughs> Pancet Canton na uh, Chile. <laughs> Pwede ba Miriam's Beauty Coffee? Ganyan, parang pagpaganda. <laughs> Pwede pag-usapan natin siya. Yeah. Pero seryoso ko, pwede kayo mong pagawa ng, ng, ng uh, iba-ibang klaseng produkto kay Mr. Ray Aloy. So Ray, marami daghan, daghan salamat. If you want to get in touch with Ray, just put it Uh, he, you will see his uh, contact details. Yun, nandun na. Pero naka-private, Ray, eh. Dun sa everyone na lang. R and C. Mark. Paano? Ako na, ako na. Yan. Kinapik. Sorry, sorry nga. Hindi ako, Nick. Ayan, ito na. O, yan. Yan, yan, yan. 
So, rncmarketing.com.ph. Alright. So, maraming maraming salamat, Ray. Gustong gusto ko yung mga uh, prinsipyo na sinabi mo. Hard work. There's no substitute for hard work. Di ba? At uh, lalo na ngayon, kailangan natin maging thrifty, maging matipid. Okay? Uh, huwag tayo, uh, lalo na mga Cebuano, kilala dyan, oh, masinok. Huwag <laughs> gastusin yung, yeah. yung, yung kinita, no? Okay? And then, and then, of course, God's will. Yan. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Ray, yeah, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank yung libro you. mo, ha? Sulat na natin libro mo. Para mas marami yeah. mga <laughs> yeah. benefit. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. so if you still have questions, just put it in the chat box. Maraming salamat, Ray. We're gonna move forward. And next guest that I want to go in uh, and call. Ano, busog na ba kayo sa kaalaman? Can you write on the chat box? Busog na busog. All right. Are you learning a lot? Yun. Uh, maraming na walang dano kuryente sa Pasay City at hindi bale. Uh, mga nandito will energize you. Okay, just come back and at least nakarecord po ito. Alright. And we have in the room, okay, uh, pumasok na po ang ating uh, VIP guest. Actually, he is uh, very, very much beloved for his advocacy. In, in just, uh, wow, in just promoting entrepreneurship uh, in this country. Yun. Pero uh, bago po yun, uh, okay, I want to know also if uh, um, Sir pa uh, Paolo Tibig, are you, are you in the house already? Are you here? Paolo? Alright, baka wala pa. Sige. So anyway, sabi niya, mamaya na raw siya sa guli. Pero I am so uh, thankful and very, 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 very happy that uh, we have so many guests who are here. And of course, talagang pinagbigyan tayo at uh, he made time. He just finished a, a meeting to be with us. At umasun na po. Let's all welcome uh, our beloved DTI Secretary, Secretary Ramon Lopez. Nana. Hey. Hello po. Good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, uh, partner RT. Uh, andyan pa si partner Miriam. Uh, and, and sa inyo po lahat po na mga nandito po sa forum na to. And I, I saw in the program, kasama rin po ang ating kaibigan na si Mayor Emmy Calixto Robiano, ang mga tagapasay po, kay uh, Chief Peter Pardo, uh, sa lahat po ng participants uh, in this uh, forum, Happy Pandepreneur. Uh, I ako po, nandito para lamang bumati at para to give support dito po sa mga advokasya po ni ating partner si Mr. R.D. Roberto, Miriam uh, Roberto, Nambaw Roberto, para ho, kasi ho talagang sila po, they are really dedicated uh, entrepreneurs and sharing our advocacy na maipamahagi yung lahat ng pwedeng kaalaman, lalo na I'm sure their strength is on mindset yung pag yung tamang pag-iisip values character na napaka-importante ko talaga sa kahit anong undertaking whether as negosyante in fact whether as an employee uh, yan po yung mga uh, uh, yes that challenges that uh, we need to have uh, having this right mindset and eventually also the know-how dahil si Mr. RD aking partner si RD una ko po siya actually yung nakilala yung Uh, siya po yung aming ding uh, uh, inaasahan pagdating mo sa pagtuturo rin, even marketing. Even how, and then eventually nagpumasok sa how to be happy entrepreneur. So, ang dami yung magaganda hong advocacy ho ni RD and uh, ating ka-partner, even si Paolo na rinig ko na sasali rin sa atin. Um, this is, ano, ano po, this is really a long time advocacy po namin. I, I think over maybe 15 years uh, by now. So hindi po at bago po wala pa ho ako sa DTI but this is really our personal advocacies and I'm just happy to give our my support the DTI support to this undertaking and this is really truly a what you call bayanihan spirit coming from them coming from the city government of Pasay that we are really wanting just wanting to share what we know and and uh, how can we make everyone happy para lahat talaga maging tumaas ang happiness index lalo na how to be a happy entrepreneur. Uh, entrepreneurship per se, 
uh, is may not be that good for us kung hindi tayo happy. Kailangan doon tayo sa happy and and frankly ho, even ho sa the way we how, the way we live, the way we uh, the way we work even uh, talaga hong we really find our purpose, our happiness and uh, I would share in the in this uh, uh, team nung kanilang forum ngayon. I, I guess from, I, from my end, especially, na tayo po sa DTI, tuloy-tuloy naman po ang ating pagbigay suporta sa mga entrepreneurs. Una-una uh, po, uh, mga training tulad ng ganito. And you can also see si RD and Miriam po, they are also part of mga mentors so ng DTI, at yun ang go-negosyo. They are mentors in many ways and they can, can do webinars. They, we, they, the mentorship is always there. And DTI also provides those. Then, lalo na po, pagdating po sa nabigyan na kayo ng training, uh, isa pong, I announce ko rin po, na especially if you are, you have a business na over one year old na, na negosyo, uh, kayo po ay pwedeng entitled po kayo mag-apply sa, sa SB Corp, Small Business Corporation na uh, CARES Program. CARES stand for, stands for uh, covid as uh, 19 assistance to restart entrepreneurs entrepreneurs so tulong po ito para ma-revive yung kung ano man yung mga negosyo niyo na naapektuhan ng pandemya or or naapektuhan nung itong uh, recent mga bagyo typhoons or pagbabaha so ito po ay uh, programa po ng ating gobyerno inupisahan po ni Pangulong Duterte at uh, magandang balita po dito may grace period ang magandang balita zero interest so yun po yeah, you, and, and and halos uh, halos uh, automatic ang approval kung kayo po ay lalo na registered or merong BIR mga tax return yung let's say nagfa-file na kayo ng income tax return ng mga nakaraang taon 2018 2019 ay ito po medyo pending automatic yung approval tapos yung amount you can view yung amount na pwede Ito po may ibang amount for micro, may ibang amount for small, may ibang amount for medium. So tingnan po ninyo yung, i-google na lang po ninyo yung, yung uh, small business corporation. And online yung application. Online din yung release. So hindi na kayo pupunta sa mabagpapapasahe pa sa papuntang Makati. Uh, at, at ang evaluation maybe in one week, baka tapos na, may konting verification lang. So yun po, kaya ko ina-announce. Actually, uh, kayo po yung mga isa sa mga unang mga mag apply dito. Kaya habang wala pang mahabang pila, pwede na kayong pumila ngayon. Dahil yung in-announce natin last time, medyo humaba talaga yung pila. So hanggang naubos na, 1 billion yung unang part, 1 billion pesos po. Naubos to dahil uh, 27 to 30,000 ang nag-apply. Ang na-approve lang 17,000. Naubos na yung 1 billion. No? So Ito ho, ang maganda with the Bayanihan 2, kung narinig ninyo sa balita yon, uh, may na-download ho uling panibagong budget for this. At uh, kaya that will allow us to lend to more more of you. So yun po. And then, uh, next to the financing, pwede po rin tayong tumulong kung grupo po kayo ng entrepreneur, yung mga equipment. Kung group kayo, let's say, part ng cooperative, pwede pong bigyan ng equipment yung cooperative. Let's say, sa paggawa ng example lang, uh, sewing machine para manahe or or mga roasting ng equipment para sa mga kape or or kahit ano pang mga equipment na kailangan sa business lalo na it's, it has to be a group of entrepreneurs so yun lang muna hindi ko na habaan but uh, just to share uh, what we do in DTI and i guess the the, the good news ang mga bagong balita po ay uh, ang ating ekonomiya kahit to may pandemya uh, alam natin marami na apektuhan pero maganda na you may signs of recovery so GDP, unemployment lahat po medyo bumagsak nung unang part nung lockdown pero nagre-recover na unti-unti so sana kasama kayo dun sa pag-recover yun po ang aming wish and prayers po sa inyo at uh, sabay-sabay tayong babangon muli dito ho sa out of this pandemic at kahit uh, alam nyo po kahit may pandemya at may virus, unti-unti po tayo nagre-reopen. Nababalitaan nyo yan, yung maraming binubuksan ng mga industriya dahan-dahan and safely. Basta huwag kalimutan yung face mask, face shield. Uh, hindi ko lang ho sinuot dahil nag-iisa ako sa kwarto pero meron po tayo yan. Da, para, kasusuot, katatanggal ko lang kasi galing ho tayo sa isang meeting. Basta may katabi, 
ay may suot na kaming ganito at saka face shield. So again, maraming salamat po for really having this opportunity makasama kayo and to give our support to our very, very uh, good friends who have a big heart to share and to help others. Mr. R.J. Roberto, Mrs. Miriam Tiambao Roberto, sa inyong mga kasama po natin. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sekmolo. Okay. No, thank you so much. And uh, our prayers, Koti, alam namin na sobrang hardworking nyo, na you continue to work hard for the country, and especially uh, may, alam namin na may soft spot ka for, for entrepreneurs. Uh, Sekmolo, meron lang ano, babaati sa'yo si uh, Bumanik na kasi nagkaroon ng brownout sa Pasay City. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. so, so nawala okay. si Mayor, pero nandit, nakabalik na si... Uh, Si Chief, uh, Chief of Staff Peter Pardo at babati daw siya sa'yo. Okay. I'll say a few words. So, sige, nasa na? Hi, Secretary. Good evening. Hello. Good evening po. Good evening. Secretary, on behalf of Mayor Emmy, we'd like to thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for inspiring our entrepreneurs with your presence. Maraming maraming salamat po. It's an honor po. It's an honor. And hello again to Mayor Emmy. Yes, we will. Thank you po. Bossing, Bossing Mondo, maraming salamat ulit. We know you have a busy schedule, so thank you very much for uh, for uh, saying yes. Is alam namin na kahit last minute eh, you. Attention na, medyo na late nag-extend yung meeting no, pero actually yes. exacto lang dating niya, exacto lang. Exacto. Thank you, thank you. So permission to leave, okay na ba? Thank you. Sir. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Hey, 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 Salamat na marami po. Thank you very much. Um, meeting po at na ulit. Uh, and, and congratulations si Mayor nag naglakad, nag-propose na magtutuloy-tuloy ang fireworks sa uh, yeah, Thank you. Dahil oh. lo po yan ni Mayor Emmy para masaya ang mga tao. Oh, thank you very much. Ano physical distancing daw. <laughs> thank you. Thank you Mayor. Thanks, RD, thank, thank, you. Hello. Hello. Thank, thank you very you much. God bless you. Uh, Salamat po. Thank you, Sir Mon and Ma'am Miriam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you Secretary Mon Lopez. Thank you po. And RD. Thank yes, you, RD. Yes. Thank you so much, Mayor. Thank you oh. for uh, for doing this for the city of Pasay and for everyone. So, um, no, meron ako mga last. Uh, I would like to uh, conclude this this webinar, if that's okay. And then maybe we can have some closing words uh from from the mayor is that okay po so let me just uh um syempre po nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat ng tao nagtulong-tulong para maging successful po ang webinar na to na pandepreneur at uh, talagang dahil kanina po nabanggit ko na napakahirap ng pandemic talaga madaming naapektuhan na wala ng trabaho nagsara mga negosyo pero nandito po kayo para tulungan kaming lahat upang yung mga displays ay magkaroon pa rin ng pagkakataon, kaalaman at kakayahan para po magsimula muli ng iba namang hakbang sa kanilang mga buhay. Kaya po sana magsuportahan po tayo mga minamahal kong tagapasay kasi kahit anong ganda ng plano ng mga namumuno pag hindi namin kayo nakaisa at nakatulong, hindi po magiging successful ang lahat ng ito. So, Good luck! At ngayon po, gusto kong ipaalam na ang ilang mga kababayan po ay kumukuha na po doon sa aking opisina ng maliit na halaga para pandagdag puhunan. Lalo na po dito sa mga members ng Pasay ko, e-market ito. At uh, tinayming namin dahil 157 years ang Pasay, 157 ang makakakuha ng puhunan para po magamit nila sa negosyo. At gayon din, sa mga buyers naman, para siyempre, mas dumami ang mga mamimili doon sa Pasay ko, e-market ito, meron din po kaming mga papremyo at mga promo. 
para po mapakinabangan nila. So muli po, maraming maraming pong salamat. God bless and in Pasay, we localize the vida and we have the Emmy habit. Ensure to always wash your hands. Mask is a must and implement physical distancing. Mag-ingat po tayong lahat at mag po magkumpiyansa. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin po ang paglaban at i-crush natin ang COVID-19. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Alam niyo po sa mga pagkakataong ito na hinahati ni Mayor ang kanyang oras from one meeting to another. Tapos ngayon bumalik siya dito para makasama ninyo sa pagtatapos ng ating webinar. Once again, thank you very much, Mayor Emmy. Okay. So, Sir R.D., the floor is yours again. Sige po. I just maybe uh, to to wrap up this uh, to wrap up this webinar. Five minutes now. Let me just uh, close with these with this uh, with these words, no? So. Which is share for the screen. I just want to show you something that really, really inspired me. At uh, gusto ko ngi iwan sa yon para para meron po tayong bago na bago na inspiration. Okay. So narinig na narinig natin si Sek Molo. And again, just want to uh, encourage you, di ba? The opportunity is something. It's just a problem waiting to be solved. You know? I wanted sana. Uh, for Paolo to be here, he was going to talk about you know winning businesses, uh, in a, that are in our reach right now in trading, agriculture, uh, food, health and wellness, etc. Uh, many of the businesses that were mentioned earlier were touched on, but let me just start and just wrap up everything by reminding everyone, but keep on looking for problems and irritants that we and you, you and I can solve as opportunities. Diba? So just remember that at uh, hindi lang piso ang kikitaan nyo pero isang limpak-limpak na salapik at hindi na salapik pero pag-asa. Yan ang importante. No? So walang, walang imposible, walang imposible sa Diyos. At sometimes, you know, I just want to show you na nagkakaroon tayo ng mga gantong COVID parang sunog na talagang uh, nasusunog na lang lahat ng mga pangarap, mga posibilidad. Pero tsaka mga, mga dreams natin, yung magtrabaho, nawawala, nasusunog. Pero alam po, I just want to leave you with this one story. Okay. Alam niyo po, yung pagpunta kayo ng Baguio, nakakita yung mga pine tree, yung jack pine. Meron this particular tree, yung jack pine tree cone, ay sobrang tigas yan. No? Parang yung resin niya, yung mga buto sa loob, sobrang sealed, seriado po sa loob yon Okay. Taon-taon siyang selyado. Ano niyo po kung kailan siya nare-release yung mga buto ng jack pine tree? It is only released pagka meron forest fire. Pag meron apoy, pag meron forest fire or something like, you know, ito, crisis na to, yung forest fire, nag, natutunaw po yung resin ng jack pine tree at bubukas yung mga buto doon lang siya na release at doon lang siya nagiging supreme that is when it sprouts but after a crisis after a fire a forest fire and that is when a new thing like a, a new forest starts to bloom and i want to leave you with this with god's promise sabi niya do not remember the former things at nung pandemic yung mga yung dati natin buhay, huwag na natin alalahin. We have to move forward. Nor considered the things of old. The Lord said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Wow. God said He will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Diba? God is doing a new thing amidst these problems, this pandemic, mga bagyo nangyayari. Binibigyan po tayo ng panibagong pag-asa. Bagong pag-asa. Tumingin lang tayo sa Diyos, tumingin lang tayo sa binigyan niya sa atin, and you will have hope. 
So my hope is that this webinar has given you hope. It has given you ideas. It has given you cash, knowledge, attitude, skills, and habits. So maraming maraming salam sa inyo. May the Lord bless you. May He keep you. May His face, may His face shine upon you and give you peace. Thank you very much. If you want to keep in touch po, ito po. And of course, my YouTube channel, Ardi Roberto TV. Maraming salamat. Back to you, Rich and Mike. All right. Ayan. Wow. Okay. Wow, Chief. What an afternoon. What, a, what an afternoon. Yeah. Ako, grabe. Ardi, as always, ano yan? You, you, ano yan? Put the house down. Yeah. <laughs> it is indeed happy entrepreneur. Yes. Right? And of course, we'd like to thank once again Secretary Mon Lopez for joining us uh, this oh, afternoon. And of course, our beloved Mayor Emi Calixto Rubiano. Yes, yes. Nako. So, Brother RD, thank you once again. And to your wife, Miss Miriam, maraming maraming salamat for inspiring all of us this afternoon. And what a way to celebrate Pasay Day. Yes, and yes. Anton Diaz also with his sharing. Grabe, ang galing. Talaga naman, kumbaga, ito yung mga napapanood natin, mga pang-international oh, no, webinar yeah. conferences. Today, we had that wonderful opportunity to hear from them and that and hear their wisdom yeah. no, on how to be able to succeed, survive during this time of crisis. By the way, brother, Bukod sa ating Pasaye, Pasayahin 2020 Facebook page, ito ay hinook din sa PIO page ng Pasay at ng Mayor Emmy page. Yes. At saka dun sa ating uh, Pasay ko i-market ito Facebook page. And yung mga hindi nakasama ngayong hapon, they still have the opportunity to rerun this later. Yes, diba? definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. At uh, I'm sure maraming, maraming pang manonood para naman ah. magtuto pa sila kung paano nga ma-apply lahat ng mga techniques na shinare nila R.D. Yeah. at kanila Miriam. Maraming maraming salamat R.D. as always. And meron pa tayong surprise for all of those participants. Ayan, so, kanina brother, minensyo ni Mayor Emmy na merong lucky 157 sellers and even buyers yes. na merong mga prices this afternoon. So zoom. And there's more. Yes, there's diba? more. There's more. Lahat po nang naka-register na nanood this afternoon. Sa Zoom. Sa Zoom. Sa Zoom. Ha? Sa Zoom. Meron po kayong Happy uh, Entrepreneur Book! Yan. Courtesy of Sir R.D. Roberto. Sir R.D., kailangan mo signan lahat yan isa-isa. 157 books. <laughs> Actually, 159 kasi humihingi rin si Mayor, ha? Mm -hmm. Anong humihingi rin ang co-op office natin. So, yes. 159 books po yan. You also! Ay, 160 na! Do I hear more? <laughs> Thank so you, Sir R.D. So, yeah. so, lahat po ng mga registered sellers natin na nasa Zoom, uh, we know your ano, contact numbers. You will receive the Happy Entrepreneur book from Sir R.D. Uh, so again, Rich, thank you also to our Pasay Cooperative Office headed by Miss Wang. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah. Hello. Thank you, sir. She's our head of the co-op office. Okay. For your closing remarks, akala mo nakalimutan mo. <laughs> Go! Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat po natin naging guest speaker. Talagang ano, power pa ikaw nga, no? Dito na po sila isa-isahin. And of course, sa ating mga participants, maraming salamat at nakibaka kayo hanggang gabi at gustong matuto. Again, I will end this. The God has not given us riches. But he has given us the ability to make wealth. So do uh, do our businesses and make wealth because God has given us the talent, the treasures, and the time to do it. Very God bless us. Amen. Thank you, Ma'am Wang. Okay, nako, mukhang nawalan ulit na ng kuryente ang <laughs> dun sa Pasay. So, uh, kamusta kayo lahat? I'll uh, hintay natin silang bumalik.
But if you are part of this, can I uh, pa-shout out naman ng iyong pakitype naman sa, sa chat box yung iyong nararamdaman or something na talang hindi nyo matanggal-tanggal sa isip nyo ano yung idea o napulot nyo na iyong implement. Napaka-importante nun. Okay. Pakilagay sa chat box anything that you want to put, how do you feel, or something that you want to put na itong idea ang aking implement. Okay? Ayun, bumalik na sila. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Okay, so ganun talaga ang mga live feed ngayon. May mga technical challenges, pero at the end, we will be back. Yes. So, Chief, as you were saying, thank you. <laughs> I love said so much, Brother Rich. Thank you again. Uh, thank you is never enough for this kind of people who are so willing to share their talents, who are so willing to share their richness. Thank you very much. God bless you. Wala bang group picture? Oh, Okay. Okay. Oh, first, ano, marami to, ah. So, three pages. Marami ko na. One. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Next page. Okay. Turn on your camera. One, two, three. Okay. One more. One more. One, two, three. All right. Ayun, kompleto na. Woohoo! RD Fanny na sa Facebook Live. Paano mo sila kukunan? Wala <laughs> ka na doon, ikaw naman ang expertise mo yan. <laughs> sir RD, sir RD special shout out lang kay Tere de Mayuba. Hi Tere. Ayun, si Tere na diyan, saka si Audrey. Hi Audrey. Hello. 